ओके लेट्स कंटिन्यू सिस्टम डिजाइन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू अगेन टॉक अवर डेटाबेस डिजाइनिंग पार्ट एंड स्टडी क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट द हाउ वी कैन डिजाइन अवर डेटा वेयर वी हैव ए स्ट्रक्चर डेटा दैट मीन्स फिक्स नंबर schema is very fixed not so flexible and the relational database uh, we discussed rdms and for those uh, database we are not going to the build our software but we are going to use the existing and build software available there are some software we discussed that are the open source and there are some other software that are a non open source the okay, paid version so we have discussed mysql postgres another database that are open source similarly oracle maybe mysql uh, server maybe microsoft these are the company provided that paid base uh, database so we have to choose uh, our uh, database depend upon the nature of data like a structure data and we need a kind of a very uh, solid uh, acid property okay and we discuss detail about this pro property and in this scenario this rdms is very very fit database okay. so this is good now today uh, we are going to talk let's uh, we have a some kind of uh, unstructured data or semi structured data that means there is a no fixed kind of uh, schema no uh, flexible schema you can say and sometime we want to high performance kind of data and high volume data and high you can say user traffic request come in those scenario and we are uh, fit to not go to the sql database instead of sql database we are going to the non sql database so today we are going to talk uh, what are the non sql database what are the capability feature what kind of uh, advantage or what kind of uh, disadvantage limitations and similarly uh, what are the proper uh, popular vendors which uh, while going selecting uh, database softwares we can select uh, database software uh, as our needs as customer requirements so all the database uh, uh, designing well system we are just focused to understand all the database related software that's exist in the market we which database we can select for which customer requirements and customer requirement also consider the kind of a uh, nature of data customer have and uh, kind of a uh, traffic kind of load uh, kind of performance they want accordingly we have to select our database software for my system designing so uh, let's uh, talk basic about the no sql database so in no sql database you can say this is basically designed to handle large amount of data okay the first clear things you your systems which you are going to design they need to handle large amount of data millions billions trillions kind of data so no sql database is a preferred choice and yes also the nature of data if unstructured data that means maybe audio video image photograph reels right and the things are some semi structured data you can say json xml some document so in this scenario nature of data is large volume non relational database or no sql database is a fit okay and they provide the very dynamic flexible schema you don't uh, define very hard rigid schema so what are the objective you can receive this provide the high scalability flexibility and high performance if you are going to design system that need highly scalable that means you have any large amount of data that should be scalable so no sql is a preferred choice to highly scalable highly flexibility data 
sometime this data, sometime this data, and you want to even large amount of data, still you want kind of a our system must be performance. So all these things like uh, scalability, flexibility, performance, availability, are uh, with the help of large amount of requests, user in this scenario, database asset properties are some asset properties we can lose. So they are somehow not providing the complete asset property and apart from that they are giving these benefits. Okay, the major challenge is the our relational database provide this asset property due to that they lose uh, lose some kind of a benefit like a uh, flexibility, uh, uh, varying uh, uh, dynamic relationship like a uh, dynamic schema. Those things uh, due to the acid compliance, relational database cannot offer. But maybe some of maybe atomicity, consistency, isolation, do they These are transaction related issues. If we somehow compromise this. After compromise, this NoSQL database is providing this huge benefit for handling large amount of data, maybe for video, audio, file, document, JSON, XML, all kind of data you can manage, store, retrieve with the scalability map. Means your applications are highly available, highly flexible, and performance. So these features of the NoSQL we can get as the compromising of a asset property. This is the major benefit of the relational database. They can provide this as guarantee about the asset property and they can lose some couple of other benefits like dynamic schema things. Okay, so you can say nature of business, nature of customer requirement, you have to choose, you have to select which kind of a database I am going to select. So let us talk some key concept of the NoSQL. So, all the non-relational database first and uh, they are schema-less. What do you mean by Whenever you are going to design your database, at that time you are not very rigid. Hey, this uh, information always contain name, age, uh, feedback, salary, every information. No. Whatever information at a time particular employee object, department object, weather information, stock market information, everything. Whatever the information currently have, they can store. Sometimes maybe two information, two values, sometimes three values, sometimes ten values, sometimes thousand value. No. So no SQL database do not require a predefined schema allow for flexible data modeling. So here say whatever your nature of data, maybe data for the only uh, three uh, column, it's okay. Maybe some data for maybe four column, it's okay. Some data maybe uh, nested data, one data inside another data inside another data. Let's do no problem. So first things, your schema, no SQL allow us. We can design our database very flexible data model. First, thing. and already discussed. No, no SQL database is handle non-structured data and semi-structured data are allowed to store various format not just only one uh, generally relational database only store data in the row in the table in the form of uh, rows and column multiple rows okay and each row contain one in record right but now no not uh, no uh, no sql Due to the not, not structured data, they allow you can store maybe key value format, maybe document, maybe graph, maybe column family, huge list. I am going to talk about the all uh, some detailed kind of types of a uh, uh, database where we can going to store different different format. Some are JSON, some are XSON, some are combined, some are key value, different kind of a, because it depends upon the our use case. We can we want to data should be persisted data should be stored a later party want to retrieve we can retrieve okay so uh, one of the also another uh, advantage about the scaling so no sql is designed in the such may manner you can horizontally scale that means uh, 
adding more node to handle increasing volumes and user traffic. Whenever user traffic is going to increase, they can add more server, more node, more node, more node and divide uh, load on different different server. Are your data size going to increase, they can add more server, more node, more node, more node. Horizontally, number of machines and number of nodes they are going to increase, depend upon our use cases. Some want to reduce, they can reduce. So, horizontal scaling with that no sql database is support to hand huge number of customer requests user traffic and manage high volume of data only the benefit of possible all this through the scaling only one node only one machine is not sufficient to store large num amount of data and not even to handle millions of millions of user requests so what this day, they are going to add more such node, more such node, more such node. Node here means server, machines. And now, the user traffic may be diverted. Hey, go to the here. We are going to talk later part, load balancing, how our uh, requests go to route it to the different, different database and someone read operation, someone write operation. So, scaling, we will talk later as well as, but as of now, understand with the help of scaling, our system can manage large increased volumes or huge number of customer requests or user traffic. And even if you talk, uh, one of the key, uh, uh, you can say, features of the NoSQL is the, they are designed as a distributed system. Because now we are uh, storing data huge and that's not possible in only one machine. So we have to store in the different different machine, different different environment, different different places. So where data, data is spread across the multiple node to improve the performance and availability. So due to this nature, uh, the uh, basic architectures of NoSQL is the distributed means your data request are going to handle by different different machine different different region different different locations and from user perspective the, the system the customer user they have not any kind of a uh, feel and gay okay, my request is scattered by where no across the globe which locations you are accessing my application nearest data center nearest servers are serving your request okay so Due to the distributed architecture, NoSQL database are designed such a way they can handle large amount of data to storing and getting the performance retrieval operations and even they can support millions of millions of user requests concurrently simultaneously. So, these are the some of the key uh, concepts are uh, uh, thoughts on this uh, NoSQL database, but list is very, very huge. You cannot cover each and every things. Whenever you want to uh, detail about the NoSQL database architecture, just go through and you found all the things. So, let's say, I said I am going to talk uh, some types of a NoSQL database. Surely, the NoSQL database is the huge list. Why? Because the nature of business nowadays IT is serving you know lo lots kind of business someone financial business someone medical business someone customer business someone FMCG business lots of kind of business and each business have different different data model data requirement data processing due to the variety of businesses and our IT our software are capable to providing services to every domain almost every domain you can talk about the transport domain healthcare domain medical domains uh, customer domains uh, banking domains insurance domains security domains everywhere nowadays you can find our software so every domains the data on which they are working that's very different nature different demand different use cases 
due to that this no sql database is designs is the with the keep mind a specific business a specific use case a specific scenario so this database is not very general purpose Keep, you can use and all the kind of requirement just you can use this specific database no you can first understand the kind of business the customer is playing and what kind nature of data and the volume velocity variance customers have accordingly you have to select these the database softwares okay so let's talk couple of i'm going to talk couple of them surely you cannot cover everything but uh, famously these are the use first you know key value stores we're going to talk detail what the meaning of key value what kind of example uh, which vendors which software we can use similarly documents oriented co column oriented graph database multi-model means key you want to mix something maybe time series database maybe new sql database maybe cloud native maybe in memory maybe ledger database this list is very huge because we cannot talk here but whenever you going to uh, design any system and you understand the requirement of the customer understand the business understand the nature of data understand the user traffic the volume velocity capacity and then you can find out hey for this nature of data this kind of volume of data which no sql database available in the market because you are not going to design the no sql database you are just going to use already built software already built technologies so keep in mind you don't worry how can i manage this complex scalability issue reliability issue security issue performance issue everything because all these things already taken care by the existing software nowadays so keep cool yourself and just think just focus on the customer requirement and try to match corresponding the right NoSQL database software vendor. Sometime maybe you need an open source database. That's okay. Sometime the customer have a very specific requirement, a specific scenario. You have a already vendor paid software available. Amazon, Microsoft, Google, they're providing just use them and ask customer hey these are the very highly uh, renowned company are offering this solution just we are integrating them. you have to pay a demand uh, depend upon the uses of the particular server particular concepts right so let's talk one by one this so that you should familiar up something which are the mostly common you can say but we are not we are not able to cover every no sql database software vendor which are in the market nowadays this is your responsibility the which systems you are going to design what kind of nature of customer what kind of customer business doing what the nature of data they have what the user traffic what the velocity of data what is the volume what is the size of data you can calculate and then think for such a small, medium, large, very large kind of capacity of my data, which uh, no SQL database vendors are fit for us. Might be you know, don't need a no SQL database, some requirement, some requirement may be user SQL database. And be frank, nowadays, if you talk any applications, they are not just built on the only one database. Nowadays, your applications are building such a way, our applications are building such way, some use case, different, different use case, different, different use case, somewhere maybe I am going to apply the no SQL database, some scenario maybe I am going to apply somewhere SQL database, some scenario I am going to apply file system, Okay, so data storage nowadays, whatever your system going to build, this is not the only one data base you are going to use. 
depend upon your use case maybe customer profile transaction you can use the rdms database somewhere maybe storing the comments message slides visibility score maybe types of information maybe no sql maybe somewhere file system just somewhere you want to store like a images video file flat some right some excel this information you can store so keep in a mind while designing system be open don't rigid your mind hey only one best data i am going to use for this customer requirement no customer requirements are further categorized in the specific specific use case according to the use case according to the uses you have might be needed for a specific use case different database a specific use case different database okay because the nature of data use cases you have to select the data okay to be carefully be open to understand the first your customer requirement customer use case nature of data volume of data capacity of data and traffic of data concurrent request user request how much maximum way? figure out something average calculate and accordingly we have to figure out these databases okay so first and most commonly used uh, no sql database is the key value form. this is a very simple we have one specific key and corresponding the value this is very simple database and they say hey this is my key one i want so this is the data Data may be anything, maybe data may be club, array of data, single data, multiple data, anything. But let's key this is the one key. Maybe company, company ID, a company ID have been number, count of number employee, maybe state, state name and number of districts, maybe your country, number country, ID country name and states. Key value, anything you can say, hey, my uh, PAN number and details, my uh, employee ID and particular names are object. So it's very simple key value and they are storing the collections I mean, a list of multiples value key and value maybe key, key value one key value two key value three key value four multiple key value very simple very fast very huge a good example you talk about the maybe redis maybe memcache maybe amazon or uh, dino dynamo dbs these are the uh, very useful data and what are the use case scenario where you are going to use generally these uh, key value database are used to implement your caching cache means whenever customer or application want to request hey i need some data you are retrieving data Res options objective of designs whenever any request come as quick as quick as fast we can response so the responsing data as fast as early we are using a cache caching mechanic uh, this caching mechanic is by this maybe mem cache maybe redis cache any uh, maybe open software or paid software you can use so here you can say hey don't go directly talk to the database first go to the fast mem memory redis server hey request is found here just return if not found go to the database read out and update here and then the response so generally cache is the middleware between your original data store just for responsing so in this scenario maybe you want to session management you want to maybe uh, what kind of session token management session management where you want quick the quick uh, solution quick response in this scenario key value store data no sql databases very very uh, these are almost you can say many many applications these uh, key value store database are using are maybe using the inbuilt open source software or they can write your own custom code but nowadays each and every application maybe mobile application desktop application any application objective as user click quickly get the response for quickly response this key value data store is a very very important Next, we we'll talk about the document-oriented database. Maybe 
that means document means key one document that is the self describing they contain everything let's say about one employee the one employee employee name age department uh, his address permanent everything i know contain one documents such as this is the maybe document json maybe document xml so whenever such a requirement and nowadays almost every majorly applications are using json to request and response generally responsive data always we are going to the json so somehow uh, hybrid database say you are storing data in your relational database row column row column you are reading from database and finally you convert the json and then a response to the api many many times we are doing so sometime yeah, you can why not you just directly use the document data and data on the document so quick so fast so in this scenario uh, these are the majorly used software you can use mongodb pouch database and other uh, vendors that's for what huge number of vendor for the document as well as just you can go what are the scenario use case generally they are very very prefer whenever you know the content management system cms if every uh, you can business domain if you want to the education domain all the content learning contents are used the same as maybe you go to the your uh, policies content required you go to the uh, medicals these are content required contents means data that's directly managed by the customer and customer and according to the contents our application behave content management system is very very famously used kind of software and this software this document oriented database is a preferred choice maybe you are going to build a, some blogging platforms where a couple of blogs someone going to write the so whenever blog have a blog who is the written writer of the blogs title of the blog summary of the blog blog detail this is a one complete document you can store complete document in the systems okay so in those scenario uh, document oriented no sql database is a prefer choice so let's talk about the column family so generally in the relational database we are storing data in a, in the form of row one employee one row another employee one row another employee one row means they are storing the all property all maybe they have a one model have a 10 attributes the 10 attributes they are storing 100 to 100 attributes they are storing so for story once but whenever you are going to do analysis generally maybe you want to hey i want to name and age i want to salary and abc i want to location what are these employees in the particular locations our particular city our particular department so generally while the data analyzing data request on the basis of limited column so here say instead of data storing on the rows why not we can store data on the column so that our analysis of the data going querying and aggregating some of the weekly data monthly data yearly data half yearly data so those scenario where we have a query that uh, aggregate some average count total uh, of the maximum minimum of a uh, one week data two week data month data two month data six month data one yearly data in those cases customer need kind of reports where so this column family is stored no sql database is a preferred choice and one of the most apache software either cassandra you can use or hbs you can use yeah amazon again dynamo db also preferred choice here uh, what kind of use case these are uh, database you can use whenever you are going to the build some big data analytics application tools or you are making some iot uh, data processing okay or maybe some time series data so this scenario your uh, column oriented database is the very preferable choice similarly we have a uh, some graph database nowadays on the social media uh, uh, trends nature of the business hey one uh, uh, people's are like by the three what are the other friends they have list of friends and which they are uh, friends are a specific category so uh, due to this social media site and uh, uh, 
the concept of the one persons or the related friend, related follower, the follower have the something likes, number of posts. These are the things somehow make a, make a relationship. This is the my post and my related, my direct, you can say, uh, follower or uh, uh, follower inside the follower, number of likes, number of posts. This information generally we are get to the uh, tree kind of a uh, hierarchy. Uh, those uh, known as your graphs kind of things. So, such a scenario, uh, these the particular uh, employer person known as a node or particular relationship, these are known as a edges. So, whenever something data you you are going your application going to manage and nature uh, so you can use this graph no sql database a very famous you neo or j or amazon neptune or orient db or this uh, kind of a no sql database and the scenario use case you can use the way similarly i talk whenever you build any social media platform facebook uh, instagram linkedin such kind of where the peoples are related friends a friend follower in this scenario these are the are you are going to build the recommendation engine are you going to be somehow the knowledge graph so these uh, kind of uh, applications these uh, graph no sql database is a preferred choice and you can select uh, maybe open source software or the uh, non open source software and sometimes whenever you are going to design this application you need kind of a mix of data you want to store the key value as well as you want to store document you want to store graph store key value, some kind of mix kind of a data so this is known as a multi model database you are mixing key value document and graph as well as so here scenario you can maybe use the orient db yeah cosmos db yeah Rango DB. These are the lots of options you have to explore. But the the scenario is that whenever you are going to use the, some kind of a building data integration, means key one applications, one applications are uh, talking to the integrating at you know, pulling data or uh, pushing data or getting data from the different different another system. Okay, another system. This systems may be communicating, talking with, with a no key value database this system may be talking with the document this system may be talking with the something so now whenever data integration something or maybe a uh, different kind of persistence you are or maybe you are uh, you processing the I iot data some data are very stream data some data are very uh, audio video are mixing something so such scenario sometimes our application can require to use the multiple uh, nature of data so this time good you can select the multi model database okay and after that uh, we have a time series uh, no sql database so we are uh, to optimizing storing and reading a large amount of data means historical data so maybe weekly monthly yearly daily so in this scenario maybe uh, iot sensor data so our iot devices nowadays continuously sending data every millisecond they are sending data so we are not capturing going to analyze every data but instead of monthly instead of uh, hourly instead of weekly instead of year by year graph you want to generate so we are the continuous data going to generate continuous going to billions of data per second day going to generate it and you want to some kind of uh, analysis maybe maybe you talk about the financial maybe stock market trading daily basis on uh, you can say our trade is going on transactions sell sell buy sell purchase all things going on uh, you are managing histo you want to do some analysis for the last uh, fast uh, six month data past one year data past two year data past 10 year data so those time series data i want to hey last five year this kind of a uh, sales purchase stock price something so such the places time series database is very uh, preferable choice where you want to build a uh, monitoring monitoring and analytic tools analyzing the your historical data and that will take the new decision so for those uh, the scenario you can use the influx db uh, open time stream db or time scale db lots of database in this uh, time series because time series is the 
very very nowadays in a big data or analytic applications uh, they are using if you talk somehow as similarly we can discuss the sql database similarly new sql what is new sql it means somehow our no sql also going to provide some kind of a consistency and reliability at least this two feature look like a relational database they are going, going to offer the so somewhere you want to perform kind of a real time analytics you have some uh, transactional system like a financial transactional system where you want to some consistency and reliability okay or any uh, those scenario you can use the new sql no sql database and for this vendor where you can use the google spanner or amazon aurora or cockroach uh, db and they are provide the these are the no sql database but the provide the some acid property like consistency and reliability so that you are uh, your system your customers are rely so all the transactional are you can maybe you want to some real time analytic applications in those scenario this uh, database uh, you can use and think yes and uh, sometime you maybe you talk about the nowadays uh, everything building the cloud native applications so why not you use the cloud native database even you don't just say hey, uh, take the advantage of cloud computing and storage nowadays uh, big cloud provider amazon google microsoft have providing the lots of cloud storage to you why not just use the cloud provided storage just hey tell the amazon hey i need such kind of a uh, database store so for that already uh, uh, amazon have a DynamoDB, yeah, Google have a uh, Firestore or uh, similarly Azure, Microsoft have a Cosmos DB. These are the cloud uh, uh, for the cloud native application or maybe nowadays you talk about the serverless computing or maybe real time analytics, such applications where you are just saying, hey, this is the, my business logic, this is my code, let's cloud provider, this is my code, you just run and whatever request come one request million request thousand request high load this is your responsibility to manage the load and where you are going to store data small data huge data large data this is your responsibility that means we uh, as a application designer just build my business logics and everything we can tell hey cloud provider your responsibility you have to use your api gateway you have to use your load balancer and just route to my traffic and whatever information going to store database this is your responsibility where they are going to say you need to manage your data you need to manage your request we just provide your core business logic which you want to run on your platform so cloud provider take your code and apart from other things like a server like a database like a, uh, your load balancer like api gateway security authentication authorization everything is taken care by your cloud so cloud provider is everything taken care by and you as a software designer engineer just write the customer business how the customer business can proceed can process that is known as a serverless computing so all the due to the serverless computing and nowadays cloud providers provide some uh, server capacity storage uh, all the database server they are providing your storage capacity providing they are already offering all the uh, scalability issue flexibility issue hci availability high availability security everything all the uh, system designing non-functional requirement is taken care by your cloud native providers so let's use the cloud native provided the database as well as okay and uh, sometimes uh, our applications uh, very fast kind of you know generally whenever you store data in the ram that's a very fast ram is a random access memory very, very fast and performance database similar kind of nature you want so you can use the again the uh, sap database hana oracle provide the time slain and similarly bold db these are the database very very fast look like your ram faster ram uh, look like ram performance similar performance you can take from this in memory databases no sql so in this in the times your real times any kind of analytic application or again building the cache system 
are building high performance computing where you want quick kind of a response and that so in this scenario uh, we can use this the in memory no sql database this performance look like a ram uh, database uh, ram memory and least uh, but not last you can say uh, ledger database you notice in the banking systems uh, uh, whatever the transaction going on uh, withdrawal deposit uh, get uh, update delete whatever so everything uh, nowadays in the banking system they are going to the uh, lay put a entry in the ledgers and such application where you want to storing and managing ledger data such as a financial transactions every transaction are going to properly maintain in our ledger and whenever we learn in our uh, e e economics uh, we know what are the ledgers and how to maintain the ledger okay and for such applications whenever you are building the financial services or supply chain management or auditing or building any kind of a compliance or security applications where you have to maintain the ledgers so you don't think just according to use case you can use the amazon already provided qldb or google already provided like your uh, cloud ledger or similarly uh, lots of other vendor we have just figure out the notice we have covered lots of kind of business lots of kind of use case scenario but different different use case different different no sql database already available just we have to think on the customer side requirement side understanding customer nature of data volume of data what kind of performance they want the traffic uh, percentage if you just analyze and understand then you can just come on the, our uh, uh, data de database design just figure out what are the possible match sql database non-sql database and for this what the already in build market have a open source software available you decide open source software you want to know i you don't hear with respect to sometimes customer want no we cannot use the open source software we can go with the paid version software because they have some critical data critical information okay so whatever the we discuss no sql database whenever we are going to use this no sql database by default we get some benefit i will discuss our database what are the database data you're going to the model as store that's a very flexibility means your handling diverse data types and structure many many different different structure many many different different data types everything our no sequels are flexible provide the high level of flexibility to storing your data model and i already discussed scalability horizontal scaling scaling to handle high traffic and large data set. whenever you have a large data set and a user, user traffic is very very high they provide your system automatically going to scale and also high performance if you want to some kind of a even large data set i want to our system should be performance so high want to high throughput and a low latency and it's for the uh, real time application so these uh, databases even the large data set is still provide high throughput and even low latency that means the from which region users are accessing quickly reply because the nearest data center are going to provide the services for you and all these things these are the even high performance system scalable system flexible system even you can uh, save your cost because reducing storage cost and improving the resource utilization because we are just going to use the normal simple machines to process them no we are not need a very very high costly very very high high ram high memory machines very costly machine no normal simple machines 8 gb 10 gb 4 gb 100 gb de depend upon the use case different different machine we can start up and we can so just compare something maybe you are going to hire one very very big and strong powerful person to handle your all the security gate information or maybe you hire 100 people very normal people and just put the against him 
100 people can do very easily very calmly whatever I work the one people is very strong very intelligent people doing so somehow here uh, uh, means using the normal your servers we can uh, get the cost benefit in the NoSQL database and even after that whatever things they are also support kind of a fault tolerance even any something or some server fault some happens some network failure happens something problem happens even our system is still going to run our completely system is not going to the crash somehow to provide some kind of fault tolerance and high availability and making them suitable for a mission critical application somehow you want any request 24 multiply by seven any times come our system must be able to respond your system should be highly available so due to the scalability you can also offer the high availability and fault tolerant means something unwanted happens something failure happens something we have alternatives uh, default response alternative server alternative uh, route available so that you you can get the response one region crash another regions are available to take your request so no sql database if you configure properly are using properly vendor specific they offer this high availability fault tolerance scalability flexibility all kind of feature by default if you are using selecting this uh, no sql database these NFR automatically implemented. You don't need to do anything. Just focus on the business requirement. So all these jumble words nowadays for the managing data already provided by the software available. You just think all NFR mostly our open source software provided to us. Okay. So these are the benefits. Let's talk about some problems some disadvantage some limitations of the NoSQL. yes you cannot say uh, any kind of uh, machines or any kind of software you are using each and every things have a, some kind of a advantage benefit some kind of a limitation reason is that these softwares are not designed for all they are designed for a specific use case the specific scenario it will fit but if you talk another scenario, it will not fit. So those is known as limitation. So similarly here, they are not fit for the asset compliance because this is not designed. If you want something, it's not possible. So sacrifice some consistency, durability, guarantee for the performance and scalability. Due to the I want to high performance and scalability kind of system, so we can avoid durability consistency problem. Similarly, we have a problem with the data consistency. Similarly, we have a problem with the complex query. Somehow you want to have a complex query joining from one table to another, another to another, and make a very complex query. Maybe indexing, something, all the database concept here, you like, I want to indexing, query analysis, complex query, inner join, outer join, call lots of things. So whenever you're building some complex query, this will not fit for you. Similarly, some kind of a security and governance issue, sometime uh, uh, auditings, where uh, due to some schema less uh, the, the nature of distributed some data security may be loose some data may be lost some data may be incorrupted so these are the some kind of limitations you should whenever you talk any systems any designs don't focus only one point of view you have to look other side as well as why because this is human tendency Whatever we, the environment, the society, the we developed, we build, generally we always look only one side. This is my, the way uh, human body is structured. My eye only at a time look only one point of view. Even nowadays, you can look, I am looking my laptop. One screen side I can look, but back side I cannot see. At a time, I can see only one view of anything even one small particle any small item any thing you can pick you can be mouse pain everything you can view only one point only one view you can see at a time because our eye have a capacity i have a limitation 
they cannot view 360 angle they can only view 190 degree so flat one view i can see but my even one time i cannot see my complete palm or finger back is missing similarly whenever you are going to discuss any software any system please pause and look from one point of view again pause look from other point of view that means advantage disadvantage problem use case after viewing the different different angles then you reach on the conclusion hey this is my conclusion this is the right path for me don't make judgment just only one point of view i read something about the no sql lots of advantage let's apply them no you read the disadvantage what is the problem they have and then you look our requirement what we have is really matched Compro somewhere you have to compromise some places you check level of compromise if manageable then you can go don't make your habit to see to view only one face only one view of anything maybe in a software or maybe in a real life always view multiple make multiple viewpoint and then leave. similarly if you talk about the software or designing lots of viewpoint we talk in the database logical viewpoint physical viewpoint storage viewpoint deployment viewpoint similarly any database design multiple viewpoint we are discussing business viewpoint technical viewpoint right so similarly any software you are going to use select look the multiple viewpoints okay so these are the already we have discussed some couple of uh, scenario business where no sql database is preferable choice like uh, any big data analytics system you are going to build where you can handle large amount of unstructured and semi-structured data no sql is a preferable choice or you want to build the real-time web application where like a social media platform online gaming e-commerce online uh, learning platforms where you want a real kind of a communication real time you want no sql databases are use cases maybe iot data processing it handle large amount of time series and provide a fast data injections and processing so whenever continuous any our iot device sensor sending a data maybe temperature data maybe uh, a a aeroplane data maybe humidity data maybe uh, oh, no, weather data data all the kind of CCTV camera data where continuous our system mobiles device CCTV camera our uh, tools are generating data in this scenario no SQL database is a preferable choice when nowadays you talk about the machine learning ER AI artificial intelligence related application they can generate large amount of unstructured data like video audio streaming fast such scenario your no SQL database is preferable survival this is a good option nowadays any you are going to the using the cloud building the cloud native application so take the cloud native advantage of the file storage computing database so you can take the advantage of your cloud service provider the database according to your use case cloud native provide the storage capacity computing capacity storage capacity as well as so let's talk uh, whatever the we discuss uh, about the NoSQL. These are the some kind of major vendor. Why talk vendor? Be clear. Whatever the database you are going to select, you are not going to build database. You are you are not here. Your intention is not to build a database. Your intention is I am designing the system that meet the customer requirement and customer requirement customer need to manage data. So for managing data, storing data, retrieving data, everything, I am going to take the inbuilt software. Okay. So all the databases in build already built, someone built for you. So use the existing knowledge, existing designs. Already these are the, all the databases follow some specific designs to meet your requirements. Okay. Here. So kind of already the one system you designing one system already designed for your database management so you are just using them so while using you have to select 
maybe you go some open source software or you go go some customer specific some vendor specific so these are the some common vendor nowadays you talk about the amazon providing almost all the cloud computing systems cloud computing devices storage database software everything similarly go the google google also provide the your storage your database everything similarly microsoft azure also provide your uh, uh, database so you can talk maybe microsoft big provider google amazon these are the very very big provide uh, google cloud or uh, amazon microsoft these are the very big cloud data providers and they are offering you the storage facility database facility and apart from that all nfr like uh, security like availability like uh, fault tolerant like reliability like scalability these vendors just provide for you so all the system design which are the non nfr requirement for the database sites you don't thing just choose the right vendor maybe you can go to open source maybe you can open source uh, cassandra popular this is a very very popular open source no sql database for handling large amount of data across the multiple community servers mongodb is also one of the most popular open source these are the open source database and some are the cloud native provided database you these are the very important high level but you can explore the market available huge vendor they are providing as a non sql database i am just uh, here summary sum up which are the very very most popular and nowadays if you look the uh, application running on this environment cassandra mongodb huge and similarly if you look the uh, application running on the amazon google or microsoft platform huge huge so these are the you can say this is my point of view these are the very big player uh, they are offering whatever your database and database related nfr like nfr scalability flexibility high availability security everything they are offering to you just you have to configure use in such a scenario so most probably these are the some basic summary about the database designing database design means whatever the system you are going to design whatever the system you are going to design system take some input take some input do some processing do some processing and finally they are going to store information in your database or maybe file system okay so these informations for storage part for retrieval part whatever nfr like uh, abil high availability like scalability like a security like fault tolerant these everything you are not going to the build they are already built and provided by inbuilt software whatever we discuss in the last couple of last two days they are already provided inbuilt operate software available for you just you go and select these softwares maybe these software some are the open source some are the some softwares are not open source so you have to test that you are going to the open source what are the advantage they have offered what if you're going to the vendor specific cloud provided find out the what are the advantage they are offering to us but your intention is not doing this uh, complete database designing your intention is just using them here you're designing they just meet the customer requirement for which you are going to the build system how they request request and calculate and if you understand properly customer requirement business requirement and uh, nature of data and the uh, traffic of data size of data accordingly these uh, data volumes of data capacity of data if you calculated average and somehow after that you go and select this uh, vendor maybe open source or vendor specific database and that is very if you think now your system design is become very very simple you are just focusing on the customer requirement and all other things is taken care by your inbuilt operate uh, database software system but you have to aware this database software architecture how you can use them how you can configure them in your scenario in your application 
how it will behave. You have to understand. Blindly, you cannot use. Okay. So, hope this information is helpful to you to understand whenever you are designing your system, whatever the data part, data management, everything, you have to use the existing inbuilt open source software or vendor specific software. You are not, your intention is not to design the database. Your intention is choose the right database software so that they can meet your system customer requirements. Thank you for watching this.